Hello, my friends. Welcome to Dave Skillet. Today, I got a, gosh, another 30-minute menu. Now, I thought that I had come up with this idea stupidly, but I can't, I can't tell you it's, it's my invention. It's not. So what I'm doing is I'm making enchiladas. No, 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 just bear with me. Um, and I looked around <coughs> and thought, what's the best way to make the enchilada? I was walking through my favorite cheap store. You know the one? I can't say their name. I'm not going to say their name. Oh, Mark. <coughs> anyway, so I bought some chimichangas. You know I got to do it, right? I mean, you know I got to do it. So, chimichangas, instead of me making all those ingredients and putting them into a burrito, which I could do, which I've done, um, but not today. Um, I've got some shredded cheese. I took a block of cheese and shredded that this morning. I've got some green onion, spring onion, uh, sliced uh, olives, and uh, is it 20 ounce? No. Yeah. Do, 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 do. 28 ounce, 793 grams, which I don't use that kind of. But uh, some people do. Anyway, this will be the enchilada sauce that I use. I know I could make my own. I got I got the chilies up there. I could do it. But this is for speed, not how it's going to taste and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I've got some extra virgin olive oil spray. I'm going to use that. Um, I'm also going to use uh, Mexican oregano, black pepper, and cilantro leaves. Kind of just sprinkle that on top of the chimichungas that are in the pan. And um, 400 degrees, yeah, 25 minutes. You could do it at 350 for 40 minutes. Your call, your haul. You're the chef in your kitchen. Me, I just want to speed things up a bit and cut some time window stuff down. Anyway. I'm going to go with uh, 25 minutes at 400. You get to do you. I'm going to do me. Anyway, um, that's how it is. Film at 11. <laughs> or as soon as I get this thing posted. I tried uh, a few weeks ago to, to do one and my camera failed on me. GoPro. Jeez. I'm going to change the name of that camera. And it ain't going to have the word pro on it, that's for sure. Pro fallop, maybe. Um, so let's just go right over here and get with it. So the first thing I got to do is take these guys out of here. For at the minute. At the minute. And we're going to spray this down. Use your favorite pan, whatever one you want to do, that's fine. I'm not going to judge you. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. I can see what I'm doing quite fine. I know it's a cheat, come on, the whole thing, that's the whole idea of making this a cheat and I can't even take credit for it because it's already been done and not even with anything this good I see them less than that good and I'm like okay these are going to taste better than what they got going on but all right okay I don't mind There we are. So now I got some cilantro leaves. You can use fresh or you can elect 
not to, up to you. And some black pepper. I always kind of have to put some of that in there. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Oops. I got a bit more black pepper than I wanted. That happens. Especially around here. Ugh. It'll be okay. Once I pour the sauce on it, it'll be fine. Okay, now I gotta get my sauce done. Give it a good shake. Get things mixed up in it. Ah, here we go. And pour it right in. Don't, don't be gentle. Just do it. Just pour in. There, that's enough. That's about half of that can that I've put in there. I don't want to add any more than that. Well, don't worry, I'll freeze the rest of it. Oh, it's not like I won't use it. I will. Just not today. We're going to pour in some of that. Put in some of that. Add some cheese. I should have turned the oven on. I haven't done that yet. Oops. I will. Because this is really going fast. I should have. Let's get that all mixed up and incorporated with itself. Because we're going to dump all of that in there too. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. Now I'm saving that a little bit for the end. Because I want to put some more of it on. Once I pull this out. Um... There we go. I'm going to get it down there in the crevices. I don't know if I'll use it all or not. If I do, I do. If I don't, it's no big deal. Okay, now. Need some down there in that corner. So we'll put some in that corner. Now. Now we'll put the rest of that on top. I kind of think that looks better when you do it that way. Because you got some that'll be into the molten cheese thing. And then some that'll be on top. Now. That's it. Next stop, the oven for this. And that is it. We'll go get it. 25 minutes. At 400, should do. Oh yeah, it's bubbly bubbly. I'm going to let this cool down because it's pretty dang hot. Oh. It'd be too hot to eat or even take a taste right now, but yeah, it was bubbling around the edges here. I could see it when I pulled it out. It was boiling, bubbling. Not too sure about the center here. I'll have to test it, see what's what's going on. Yeah, worst case scenario, I'll put it back for another 10 minutes. No big deal. We will be back. So we got it in the oven. And 25 minutes and it's going to be for 400 degrees we will be back okay we got to put it back it's kind of cooled down a bit since I tested it but it was only up to 80 degrees so I'm glad I got that that is 
pretty good. You just stick it in and the temperature goes up or goes down. Whatever it is, it's going to show you. I'm going to give that another uh, 15 minutes just because it's only 80. Uh, yeah. And finally, we're done! Hooray! <clears throat> but wow, I had to let it go quite a bit longer. I had to give it another uh, 20 minutes. Wow. Okay. Anyway. Let's see what it is now. I had 163. It's been about five minutes since I tested it last. 141.9, 156. This is a handy gadget, I gotta say. 162, 165. We're over the top, 167.9, 168.9. Point eight. 170. So we got that. So I'm going to let it cool down because it's way too hot to take a bite out of that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And we will be back. I'm going to go ahead and cut her right down the middle. That's right down the width of each one of those. I think I got it right. Anyway. Yeah. Oh. I gotta get a plate. Because I need a plate. I would say how it tastes, if you do it this way, will be largely dependent upon what kind of burritos you're using. Whether you get frozen or if you go buy some fresh ones at a restaurant, bring them home and do this, which would be a good idea. I've not done that yet, but I will. Hmm. It's hot. It just came out of the oven. Woo! I didn't put any hot sauce on it. I got three more burritos in the pan. I will. I was just kind of rushing things because I'm hungry. This is my lunch and my lunch time, 12.30. This is my lunch hour window. I've been fasting. Oh, mad. One meal a day. Hmm. It's all good. And so is my enchilada. I can't call it a burrito now. It's no longer a burrito. When is a burrito not a burrito? When you turn it into an enchilada. I have to apologize for my last attempt at a video. My camera decided not to work. It was taking still pictures instead of video. And I was like, why? What's wrong with this silly camera?
GoPro. It, it never actually worked from the day I bought that camera. It's been nothing but a pain in the butt not working. Oh, that's hot. I don't know. Slobbered myself with the cheese. Yeah. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. I won't torch you. There's still some left on my plate. But I'll go ahead and eat it off camera. Oh boy. See you on the next one, folks.